What's going on, everybody? What is going on? Welcome, welcome to another show from Aegis Comics. What up, and Uncle the- Rudy? What up? What up, Uncle Rudy? What is up, man? And we've got uh, uh, Kevin and hopefully JC uh, ready to come in here in a sec. Uh, don't forget that we have our uh, up next will be Spine Ticks. They always, you know. The legit Saturday night one two punch. Exactly. Word. And then, uh, uh, of course, don't forget to check out our our website yes. at Ages Comics Alaska. And uh, we got to pay the bills real quick. So, a quick shout out to our one of our sponsors, which is Popple. Remember, guys, you don't need the paper paper. Uh, paper uh, business cards anymore nah. when you can use Popple. Not in this day and age. It's 2022, baby. It's almost 2023. Popple sells for itself. Oh. Aww. Oh, no. No spine ticks tonight. Well, we'll try to fill the gaps the best we can. Uh, yeah. It's kind of a bummer I mean, when there's no spine I won't, ticks. We, we won't go 12 hours, but, you know, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we'll be on here for a little bit. We'll be here for a little bit. But, uh, uh, oh, JC. <laughs> JC is a... Uh, well, guys, uh, uh, just remember, Popple is the replacement for business cards. It allows you to transfer your information straight to somebody else's phone mm-hmm. without the need for a business card. You just yeah. use Popple, and if you use our Shit's promo easy. code, uh, you can actually get a discount. Yeah, twenty percent off if you use Heroes AK, and you know they have all sorts of good deals. It's a phenomenal thing to do. Go, just go do it. And the link is in the. Uh, in our bio or in the description yeah it's yeah. in the description so don't don't mind us lose lose uh 24 hours post-surgery so yes. you know we're we're still on the the tail end of of the good drugs um you know so so just what's woo! going on guys there's our shop crew what up? what up so we've got uh uh oh. uh alexis is trying to join join in but uh, uh let me it's see like, we we no, <laughs> I was like, no, we don't have none of the camera set up. Lexus, I love you, but uh, honey, we'll, we'll we'll join in later. Yeah, we'll have you join in in a little bit from yeah. uh, uh, J Bear. So, guys, uh, we got JC on here, and the reason we got JC, JC, um, you left your jacket at the at the Comic Con. I did. Did she leave it at con or did she leave it at the shop? No, she left it at con. And uh, oh. sometimes there's consequences for that. Uh, now, Amy, of course, had your back. But uh, you're, you're, we just want to show people what happens when you leave your jacket. Hey, Kevin, you got that GTS order? Should be some magic and stuff. Uh, oh, dear God. Rick. JC left her coat? Oh, snap. <laughs> you bet I'll
she's crying. I love it. Today, actually, and I looked at Kevin and I was like, my jacket on Chester the Cheeto, and he goes, it was Amy, actually. Which that's not a lie. I did help with that. Well, she had to rescue it. I did. I had to rescue it from them. <laughs> oh my gosh so yeah the boys were having a little too much fun with that john mala welcome hey what's going on at the shop to the house the wrestling going so far uh good man we're just chilling uh if you guys aren't here you're missing out been an awesome show so far man we're eating pizza popcorn got some candy man so it's uh it's fun man we're, we're uh people are doing those really there. real wrestling moves yeah yeah totally get, uh are, are, are you guys throwing people through the tables yet? Gang signs, like he's he heard he heard us mention wrestling, so he's like, "What's going on?" My son's trying to. <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna laugh if Ian gets a chair and just like breaks it over Mark. You know, he's like, "Ooh, you talking shit." <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, um, uh, uh, we're gonna be uh, showing a little bit of the. Uh, Comic Con uh, uh, recap. You guys are welcome to stay on for that, and uh, uh, it, it, it's it's a very short video. But uh, Kevin, what does your shirt say? Yeah, what does your shirt say? My shirt says "Scissor Me, Daddy Ass." <laughs> That's a. I am there's, impressed. There's a whole backstory that goes with it. But Did you lose a bet? It's a wrestling. Team. No, no, no. Oh, so there's these there's this tag team. There's this tag team, and they come out, and they throw That's what she said. Pieces, right? And so one day, one guy took his hand, put it in the other guy's hand, and then it started this whole fucking thing. Oh. I okay. I had to get the t-shirt. I had to get the t-shirt. You know, uh, points awarded for creativity. But, uh, JC, what are you rocking? What shirt is that? Mine says Yo Gabba Gabba. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I, the yin and yang. I, I, Amy's the only one that I left out, man. I, Amy yeah. just dropped. Oh, okay. I, got, All right. I was like, oh, wait. I just made it look like I was shoving my chest out. I was like, I'm rocking the ages today. Yeah. Now, I was like, here, let me just. Ugh. Now, before let me we see do if that. I can touch my elbows behind my back. No. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yo, I tried that on my wife whenever, uh, like, about a month or so after we met. And she, she fell for it. So. Yeah, I fell for it, too, in high school. Like, legitimate fell for it. And I kept, like, trying. I was like, I don't understand. And the guys were like, yeah, keep trying. <laughs> Jesus. I'm like, you almost got it. Like, yeah. I fell for the salt one. The what? The what? Salt one. Okay, so if you didn't know, if you shake an invisible salt shaker on your tongue, you can taste the salt. Like, no joke. I don't, I don't understand. Invisible salt shaker on your tongue. Shake. You, you, you gotta pretend to. You gotta pretend to shake a salt shaker. Oh, oh, yeah. No, <laughs> oh, no. No, I got you. Okay, now, now I got it. <laughs> We're old. We don't get the jokes right away. We're old. Emotional damage. That's my niece, Kevin. <laughs> Dude, before you guys leave, I want to show you uh, some of the. Some of you guys don't know the pickups that we had from uh, Comic-Con and uh, just afterwards. Didn't, didn't you show? Oh. No, on the other show we did, not on this one. But I want to show you guys real quick before you guys leave. Uh, here, we'll do uh, Amy Cam on this one. Because you know I love it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Just throw stuff, all right? Hi, Amy. Don't make me angry. All right, so uh, these are some X-23s that we got. That one I think you've seen yeah, before, you guys. Yeah, you might have seen But if you haven't... And this is all from Ralph. He got these for me. And uh, this one is really beautiful. That's Ooh, nice. And then this one is an homage. Really good. Tyler Kirkham homage. Yeah, but I can make it dirty real quick. Uh, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that one's really dope. And then... Uh, uh, for those of you that, so our Comic Con, a lot of vendors. My face. Uh, I'll probably need uh, uh, Amy to go grab it here, but uh, uh, yeah, we'll show everybody the video here real quick and uh, we'll talk through it. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> here's the Comic Con video.
So we had, uh, uh, as you guys know, we had Ben Harvey on there. We had uh, 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 Mike Provo. We had... Or just right there is fine. Yeah. So these photographs, thank you, uh, Michael Ray Photography, for taking the for taking the time to photo document the entire con. Uh, our con had. Let me uh, lower the volume from here. So our con, uh, we literally doubled in numbers last year we had 450 people approximately come through and this year we had over 800 people come through which really committed us to getting a larger venue now this is the last year we were able to do uh the full con at this venue uh special thanks to everett's for allowing this uh one once more we use two levels it's that's that's the downstairs level and then uh, you go up the stairs to the upstairs level, which was more vendors. Um, I mean, it was just awesome. We had everything from books to toys, anime, Star Wars, fan art. Uh, Professional art. Yeah, it was just awesome. You know, um, this, the main stage, uh, we ha now this guy here, he made jewelry from D&D uh, &D dice. Oh, cool. And that vendor there to the left, is where I got the uh, the thing that we'll be showing everybody here in a sec. Uh, we had the anime clothing, which is what I'm rocking right now. Uh, some of the hoodies and stuff from Jack and Junie Petite. Mike LaJoy with his collectible books. I love and then it. the cosplay was just off the chain. Uh, I oh mean, God. it was just, uh, yeah, people brought their A game with the cosplay. Uh, and it was nice to see some of the old school stuff too, like the, uh, um, uh, there was a lot of, uh, uh, what's it called, um, there was Rocky Horror uh, Picture Show uh, uh, cosplay. Oh, nice. There was, uh, oh yeah, it was so good, man. Um, <laughs> Wanye. That's our new employee, Wanye. New employee. Uh, sh uh, Mandalorian won uh, day one cosplay contest. And, you know, it, it just... It was just very family friendly. We had the place packed out uh, both, both days, days, Saturday yep. and Sunday. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love it when a family dresses up. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi, Josh. Hey, Josh. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm so glad you guys had a good time. I'm so sad yeah. that I missed it. I'm not, we're not missing it next year because we scheduled it around my, my time home. Yeah. So it, uh, we do have uh, next year is going to be a way larger venue. Um, mm -hmm. We are looking uh, to bring up some people. We're hoping three men in the basement are going to make it. Uh, maybe we can get spine ticks up here too. Let's see. What I happens. mean, come on, Sith, Lady Sith, let's go. Get on a yeah. plane, come hang out. Let's see if we that can get shit you guys would up be, here. That shit would be. You could do spine ticks from Alaska. Yeah, that'd be off the chain. Like, also, I feel like that would be a hangover that would take me several days to recover from, if oh, I'm yeah. being honest. But hashtag worth it. Yeah, we had, uh, for our cosplay contest, we had 35 <laughs> contestants each day. That's awesome. I don't even know what's going on there, but I like it. Yeah, so uh, the way they did the cosplay contest uh, was... Yo, I would be down with Dean Kane. I'd get me a super. Yeah, Dean Kane. Yeah. Yeah, Josh, Josh Cunningham said, "Is let's try to get Dean Kane to go. He's come up for Alaska before." He's come before. up before. Yeah, yeah, we could try to get, get him up here again. I get me a Superman hug. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> He's still popular up here. I don't know how he is in level forty-eight, but they love him up here. So. Oh, he hot. So the cosplay, uh, uh, the way they did the cosplay contest is a. Uh, um, we had uh, 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 our man from uh, um, the Green Ranger, mm -hmm. Brandon uh, Highsmith. He uh, he came up and uh, he was he did like a workshop, and then all of our contestants would have to explain to the judges how they designed their suits, whether they were oh, awesome, yeah. whether they were store bought or whether they were handmade. And the winner, the grand prize winner, which was this guy here. 
he made that thing from scratch. That's awesome. That yeah. is impressive. I and can cook. I cannot prizes. do art. I cannot do art. Yeah, those were our winners, the grand wow. prize winners, and then uh, uh, more contestants. Yeah, it was awesome, man. Uh, I don't even know what's the going The vendors, on. all the vendors uh, made profit. Great. They all, the, all the vendors killed it. The, uh, you know, it just goes hands in hand, you know, because the cosplayers bring larger crowds. They really oh, do. for sure. Um, and they, they bring an energy with them, you yes, know? I mean, they yes. really, really do. Yeah. I mean, you're not just... You're like, oh, it's not your normal costume party. Oh, this this is legit. No, and, and we do it just before uh, uh, Halloween, so it's guys a, get that. It's a good tryout for them costumes for yeah, that party you are going to yeah. go to. Exactly. And, you know, it was a good filler for SenshiCon and uh, the shows that uh, mm -hmm. weren't able to uh, uh, show this year. Um, uh, yeah. Mother-daughter team there. And then, ooh. Oh! I like it. The yeah, squid, it. squid game or squid games. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's not right, but oh, it must yeah. be. I like it. Mm hmm No, I just I love the variety too, and I think that's one of the really cool things that I love about cosplayers is you never know what someone is into for a cosplay character that they feel that they want to project and i love the variety that you get you get everything from superhero to anime to manga to tv show to you know movie and i just absolutely love that variety because it, i learn a lot about things that i didn't even know were characters and i'm like oh snap that's really cool so October 14th and 15th will be 2023. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll be the next show. Two day, two day show uh, there, and uh, you know we're we're obviously gonna get through the holidays before we go super hard on like starting to like announce details and vendor sales and all of that other stuff. Um, <laughs> uh, I can be a fury given the right circumstances. Furry. Oh, furry. I thought it said fury. Huh. I might need glasses. <laughs> uh, I was going to, I, you know, like fury from no. Avengers. Fury. That's what I thought. My bad. Oh. My bad. That's what I thought. Fury. Well, the, uh, uh, so 2023's cosplay will include, uh, uh, excuse me, 2023's uh, Comic Con. Uh, we're going to have room for 65 vendors. Well, actually, there's going to be 75 vendors. 75 vendors at this show. Mm -hmm. uh, we can accommodate up to 100. We're going to go for 75. Plus, in addition to that, we have room for four food trucks. Uh, we're going to open it up to vendors in January. Uh, the new... The new venue, which is the uh, the Menard uh, Athletic uh, Sports and Business Center in Wasilla, uh, can accommodate uh, well over a thousand visitors. So mm -hmm. we'll have room for that. Uh, we're gonna have a stage set aside for our uh, uh, for our contest. performances, yep. cosplay contests, that sort of stuff. We'll have a separate location for the cosplay contest. We're also gonna have LARPing. Uh, it, it sounds like this yeah, year. Yeah, we, well, we might we might gaming. be able to have some LARPing. Mm -hmm. We have ATM machines that will be on site. So yes, there will be ATM uh, machines there. Right. Thanks to our sponsor, uh, Matt Valley Credit Union. Yep, they are there. Uh, they so, have them available. So they will. There will awesome. be ATM machines there. Uh, a lot of stuff that we learned from the last two uh, Comic Cons. Mm -hmm. We'll have. Our uh, goal is to uh, just be better every year. Every year. Every be year, every make, year. Listen make to the it feedback. better than the year before. Make sure we listen to the feedback. We know that, you mm -hmm. know, this year's Comic-Con where everyone had a great time, the setup was not great, and that is not... Uh, that, it, that is not saying that Everett's was not absolutely amazing and wonderful because they gave us a chance our first year and our second year and welcomed us immediately into their their establishment. It just is we've outgrown it. Yeah. Um, with with that amount Which of is people. A good problem. And that's a good problem to have when you're just starting off with um so Marvin, that's one of the things that we're hoping to do is do like a creators panel, have some, you know, uh, comic book uh, artists as well as creators uh, come up this next year because we would love to do some panels so people can talk about what the process is and especially because Alaska is so remote and we're so 
isolated from the rest of the world. Like, I just think that that would be a really wonderful thing for especially any young kid that is an aspiring artist or comic book, you know, writer or any of those things. Like, I just, I think it would be wonderful. If you want to come up to Alaska, come hang out, homie. Yeah, we're working on sponsors right now. We've, we've brought up Ben Harvey uh, two years in a row. We've mm-hmm. had Mike Provo uh, two years in a row. Sean Anderson our first year. Uh, we have... Uh, um, uh, Richard Griffith. Richard Griffith, a local author, mm-hmm. uh, two years in a row. So uh, we have room to grow. Obviously, we'd love to have you guys up here for... Uh, oh, hey, uh, Moonlit. Hey, girl. Miss you. Miss your face. Yeah. Come so, hang out in Alaska, Moonlit. Come up come up for our con next year, in, in October next year. Girl, yeah, you got, uh, uh, we got room for all of you, so hopefully we can have all of you Yo. guys up here for it, uh, 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 next year's Comic-Con. It, uh, it might be the, the snuggle struggle, but, you know... It, it, um, it'll I, happen. I don't have anything like that. Oh. We just got the cards oh. right now. Here, I'll, oh. just, I'll just mute them again. So, um, here, we'll go back to... Uh, Cam- camera one, camera two. Camera, Cam- one. camera one, camera two. So, the big thing is uh, for uh, our Comic-Con for uh, this upcoming year, obviously we're growing, so uh, there's going to be much more available. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're, we're looking at... Fingers crossed, we'll have the three men in the basement up uh, up here uh, emceeing. Uh, if we can get uh, Spine Ticks up here, maybe Reggie Collects to stream live from from the show. We'd mm-hmm. love to have you guys as well. Absolutely. Um, Jace also, what's up, buddy? It's, right, been, a yeah, it's been a minute. Yeah, it has been a minute. Yeah, you know, and, you know, if anyone, if anyone knows of any corporate sponsors that wants to, you know, Oh, yeah. Help us out. Help us sister out. I would prefer to keep both of my kidneys. But as of right now, I have one for sale. If anyone is looking for a kidney, <laughs> uh, it is currently for sale. You know, uh, uh, you know, sales have slowed. Yeah, uh, let's keep it real. This is a nationwide issue. So uh, s- sales have slowed at, at the shop. Uh, we don't get as many customers as we used to. Mm-hmm. So these types of events are what, really what keep the shop alive, yeah. quite honestly. So so our uh, goal is to, to, to hopefully not have to limp as bad as, you know, we've we've limped, but limp mm-hmm. into to next year and, and hopefully be able to put on a bigger and better event. You yeah. know, one of the things that we pride ourselves on is just keeping everything real with you guys as business owners, as friends, as shop owners. Mm-hmm. You know, it. it I, I would love... Uh, to just be like, oh my gosh, I'm like swimming in the money. We'll just bring everybody up. It'll be totally cool and I'll pay for it. Huh? No. Yeah, so we're always looking for sponsorships. Yeah. Uh, we had... Uh, Sharing our info, getting it out there. You know, I know that it's a, I know it's a drive and, and a flight. We had Hall Quality Homes as one of our sponsors this year. They've been a sponsor each year. Yep. Uh, this year was this Matt Valley Credit Union's uh, first year mm-hmm. uh, sponsoring. We've had the Awakening sponsor us every year. Every year and they've fail. also spon- they sponsor the majority of our events. Yep. Uh, EGS, uh, uh, Tony, uh, uh, helps out as well. Yep. He sponsors they, this and show. S- sends us stuff, you know. And, and then the Friends of the Channel. Oh, speaking of which. Send us stuff. Uh, 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 we'll, we'll, uh, at one point, we'll have to have a... Uh, uh, EGS sent us a new book in oh, their new uh, in their new case case, and I'll have that available for next oh. uh, for next for next week. Um, here, let me see here. Um, hey, are you uh, at the shop? Yeah, go ahead and just fix that. I think that's go ahead next. Yeah, yeah. And so, um, yeah, guys. So next. Next year, our Comic Con, we're looking for more sponsors. We had SoCal Comics as one of our sponsors. Uh, we also had uh, 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 who else sponsored? It was um, it was SoCal. We had Popple. Mm-hmm. I was self sponsoring through Elite uh, Real Estate Group. Yep. We had my uh, my entire brokerage showed up uh, uh, to. Uh, to the show, which was fantastic. So we're looking to see that stuff every year. Um, what do we have? Totally spaced this year. Spine tick donate times two next year. Oh, nice. Well, Thanks, hopefully, 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 hopefully we'll just have you that come means up. You and Lady Sith will just come up and hang out. Loki yeah. would totally love to have see Uncle Uncle Spine Tick and 
Uncle Sith and Uncle Lady and Aunt Lady. <laughs> Aunt Lady Sith. Uh, okay, she's she's ten twenty two. Okay. Yeah. So um, anyway, that is a summary of Comic Con for next year. Uh, you saw, uh, well, not a summary, but uh, uh, just kind of an explanation of what we plan next year. Mm-hmm. We much larger. Yeah. Um, I. Uh, I definitely enjoy it because I'm pushing her out of her comfort zone because uh, she's like, Lou, bit. I don't know if we're ready to go that big. It's like, hey, hey. Go big or go home. Go big or go home, man. You uh, promised You promised me snacks. So, yeah. you know, there's that. It's uh, uh, We had no idea that uh, we're going in. We're in our third year of business right now. Yep. And uh, we've just entered our third year. Um in, a, in, a, pandemic, you know, in, in pandemic. a pandemic, you know, in a pandemic. So it's been a little bit of a, a, a rocky up and down. And we've been able to successfully uh, create two Comic Cons. Mm-hmm. We're working on our third now, third year of a Comic Con. And uh, just looking forward to... Uh, 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 I love that idea. Oh, yeah. Just looking Done. forward to being able to do... Uh, more of these and uh, keeping these shops afloat. We've got the uh, gaming going on mm-hmm. at um, at our J Bear location. Uh, J Bear right now, just so that you guys know, for the holiday season is open seven days a week. Yep. We have uh, our shop now is currently open six days a week. So the Wasilla shop is open Monday through Saturday. Monday through Saturday. Uh, and so for those of you that haven't picked up your books yet, we understand that, you know, uh, we, we were short on a lot of books. Uh, we, we've started to restock. So please give yep. us a chance. Come through. Uh, we've, you we've are the got, guys. We've got that, a yeah. good a good stock right now of yeah, books. A good selection of books. And really uh, good you're the time guys to, that keep us afloat. Yeah. And it's a really good time to, to go get some extra books and make those, you know, put those away for gifts for Christmas. Christmas is in of just a short amount of time oh yeah do you know i just thought of a really good analogy of being a business owner so do you guys remember the tv show it was real popular for a couple years called wipeout where people had to go through like the obstacle course and it was like just short of impossible like with the obstacle courses and stuff did you ever Mm-mm. see that show i'm gonna show you that show tonight and i'm gonna make you watch these people get destroyed and they just got to get up and keep going and all this other stuff. That is what being a business owner is. It's like being on Wipeout. Yeah. Do we have MHA? Mega Hot Anime? I don't know what MHA stands for. Uh, we don't know what that is. Mm, the answer, mind blam, is Maybe. 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 We are not at the shop, so um, as you can tell, we are broadcasting from our home. Yeah. Um, for those that don't know that are just joining the broadcast, um, Lou is one day post-surgery. He did have knee surgery yesterday, so um, we are, you know, but we do usually do this from the house anyway. Oh, but. speaking of which, oh. hold on. Oh. Hold on. I Wait, forgot to show yes, you guys. Yes, Uncanny Swag knows. He knows. The big red balls on Wipeout, yes. Here, speaking of, so <laughs> yeah. at the show... At the uh, Comic Con, con, one of the vendors, you know, they say don't get high on your own supply, but one of the vendors broke out this bad boy, and I was like, you know what? I've got to have this. So I told him, hey, just tell Amy that uh, 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 I'm holding it for you. But he had this bad boy sitting there for 100 bucks. I have nowhere to keep it in the house right now, but it's still badass, so... Y'all, this is my life. Yeah, then, then, let's see if we could do a close up on the Amy cam oh. so that you can see how badass we this have thing is. too much stuff up here, is what we have. No such thing. Uh, ooh. Ooh. I, I don't know if they can see it or not because I can't see nothing. You put that, you, okay, you put your X, your your Death Star thing, not oh, an okay, X wing, but a thing in my face. That's how big this thing is. Anyway, it is full blown TIE Fighter. It even oh, yeah, has the. The pilot inside. Let me see if you can see that. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Let's switch to the Amy cam here. And maybe they'll be able to see it here. Let me see. Amy cam. 
Uh, no? no. Oh. Book comes oh, right there. Yeah. Look at that thing. You got the pilot in there. Uh, yeah. And yeah. Then you go here. It's got yeah, this thing. It's got the little shooty thingies. Yeah, I said that. Yeah. Whew. Oh, gosh. That's how big this thing is. That's what she said. Uh, beat me to it. Yeah. So this thing rocks, man. And it's I've already, a, yes, a, and yes, I've chased a dog around with it. It is a statement piece, if you will. Oh, yeah. We have nowhere to put it. I, I think I Literally keep it in the dining nowhere. room half the and time. And our nephew is coming over for Thanksgiving. Our nephew was intimidated by it. That's how big this thing was. Remember, he saw it. He was like, what the hell? Because he was terrified he was going to break it because he knew his mama would whoop his ass. Yeah. So that's the back of it there. Oh, to put things God. in perspective, that's like this is how big this thing is. So this is like the coolest thing I've ever bought, hands down. Oh my gosh! Yeah. yeah. Whew. Yeah, that's an arm workout for you. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. Uh, did you did you by chance make a kryptonite for this this week? The kryptonite was. Uh, what happens when you leave a? Uh, 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 I feel like we have more people in the chat. We need to re. We need to redo this video. Okay, guys, I'm going to so show you. To give you a backstory, JC left her jacket at the con. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It, is that uh, the black series. Yeah, it should be. Yes, it is. I'm almost positive. We don't discriminate. We don't know. <laughs> no, I think it is because uh, uh, this thing just. Oh God! As soon as I saw it. Dude had it there for a hundred bucks. I was like, sold here. I thought you said he was going to, uh, if he didn't sell it by Sunday, you were going to buy it. Well, yeah, that's what I told him. I'm just teasing. <laughs> by the Emotional damage. Just wait until I put together the montage of all the things you said to me after surgery. Oh, God. So it's gonna for those crazy. that missed, JC left her jacket at the con and if you leave something at our shop and we think that there's entertainment value to you leaving said item at the shop or at one of our events our lost and found uh we have the right our play and have fun yes you'll get it back but not until we do something with it hey kevin you got that gts order Some magic and stuff. Uh, trip. Trip. It's like JC left her coat. Oh, snap. You bet I'll work. It's the hip shake for me. <laughs> This is probably why I needed knee surgery. <laughs> This Botox free right there. Absolutely, Comic Talk Weekly.
Oh, <laughs> if y'all wonder what a day in the life is, there you go. Mm-hmm. Those two just having way too much fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, uh, we should probably... Yeah, it is time uh, once again to uh, 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 bid you guys an adieu, but uh, thank you guys so much. We're getting ready to uh, record our podcast next, mm-hmm. and we appreciate you guys joining us tonight. Absolutely. Uh, make sure uh, to follow us on Instagram. Make sure to hit us up with a with a follow and a subscribe. Hit that uh, notification bell so that mm-hmm. you don't miss out on our latest videos. If you're looking for any books, hit us up. Let us know. We do. Yeah, totally have a secret door. We oh, do yeah. ship. So, you know, if it fits, it ships. Oh, That's that right. was such a good Target commercial. Ooh. I ship my pants. <laughs> don't you remember the the ship oh, my yeah, pants oh yeah i ship my pants yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah that was also a very good target commercial and uh don't forget to check us out on ages comics alaska.com that's yes. ages comics alaska.com where you can uh check out the latest news anything that we have on sale and uh our latest updates on comic-con yeah. will be there as well we and will be here next week yeah. the spine text will return next week sith honey i hope you get some good sleep and i really hope you feel better soon i'm so yes. sorry that you're sick i hate that i wish i was close if we were closer i would bring you soup yeah that's so, what she does that's what i do Anyway, we love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting us and our shop. And if you are a podcast listener, just know we are going to be doing another episode here shortly. All right. See you next time. Peace.